Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Uh, next up, the Saudi oil attacks. Uh, they're pretty much an act of war by Iran at this point. I would, I would have thought. Well, I mean, look, there was some word that it may have been Yemen, Yemeni rebels, but uh, Secretary of State Pompeo says that he, that they, the U.S. government now believes it was Saudi or uh, Iran that did that. Ah, and I don't know what their deal is. It seems like they really want to go to war with the United States for some reason. I can't figure it out, and I can't figure out why we're not in a war with them. Actually, well, look, for years it was because of OPEC, right? Mm-hmm. OPEC is a consortium that handles all the oil in the Middle East. They set oil prices and all this other bullshit. They've been able to do that basically with impunity, fuck around and have just like minor strikes here and there right. for 40 years because the U.S. was hesitant to open up U.S. oil reserves. Most presidents didn't do it. They saw it as a nuclear option. Well, guess what? We've got President Nuke in office now, bitch. Yeah. And he doesn't give a fuck about old like, oh, we've always done it this way. He doesn't care. He just does whatever the fuck he wants. Wouldn't this help in an election? Like if you start bombing Iran, right? Pretty much everybody hates Iran. Wouldn't this help you if you were Trump coming up for the upcoming election? It's, it's a complicated situation. First, people, I'll take it back to, to Bush Sr., yeah. right? Everybody said in hindsight he won that war too soon. If he could have stretched it out a little longer, and then, hey, we won right towards the end. Well, what happened was he didn't continue all the way to Baghdad, right? So we told the, we told the uh, Kurdish people in northern Iraq that, hey, you guys fucking help us fight these dudes. We'll come up there, we'll liberate Iraq, and then we'll give you part of your country back. What we did instead was we stopped at the fucking border, turned around, left the Middle East, and they all got fucked up. Like Saddam Hussein started dropping mustard gas on them and killed thousands of people. And that's the image they saw, the American people saw during the election, not the win. So, yeah, it's, you're right, and, but not far enough. Like that's, that was the issue. Here, though, in Iran, it's something like people under 30, like 80% are pro-West or something like that. Mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia is actually a bigger problem than Iran, in my opinion. 80% of the elementary schools, like primary schools, not college, but primary schools in, uh, in a Saudi Arabia are madrasas, which teach death to America, literally. Like they're Muslim fundamentalist goddamn schools. But yet, Saudi, and Saudi Arabia just let women start driving in September of last year. I saw that. Bad idea. And, uh, yeah, horrible idea. But the only uh, reason Iran. they did it is because they own part of Uber. The Saudi government does. <laughs> no so, shit. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> and so that does not surprise me no, at all. No, no, no. Um, so our, our relationship with Saudi Arabia is a much bigger problem than anything Iran is doing. We're just, we, we feel like Iran is our friend, or Saudi Arabia is our friend. And that's why, so it, it's not even about Iran specifically. It's about Russia's relationship with Iran, in my opinion. That's what makes us nervous. Gotcha. Uh, I don't. I don't know how that's all going to shake out. To be honest with you, because you can't. What this last one was uh, this drone strike. It was what five percent of the world's oil yeah. that they took out with that. Yeah, you can't really push it any further than that without stepping in and just bombs away at that point. No, I don't have a problem bombing Iran. Like every military installation in that country should get blown the fuck up. But we should also pull our troops out of Saudi Arabia and stop giving them billions of dollars a year too. Yeah, I, I don't know. If fuck the Middle though. East. There's more oil, more oil reserves in the U.S. than we'll ever be able to use. And by the time we get to them, like let's say we, we got to the last drop of oil here, right? Yeah. Everything at, at that point will be electric anyways. Yeah. And it's not really going to matter. So what, what the fuck do we give a shit about the I don't Middle know. I, I think we should uh, build a wall around the Middle East. Hmm. Just drop a bunch of weapons in there, and whoever comes out on top, we fight them. <laughs> right? I like that. I like that. I, and I think Iran just let women drive too. It's Jesse. called the Thunderdome, bitch. Yeah. And Welcome I think they it. let them go to sporting events as well, yes. which I'm uh, against see, I'm both not. of those things. Yeah. Well, unless they're cheerleaders. Then I'm. And yeah, exactly. But <laughs> they definitely don't have cheerleaders. Uh, Can you imagine? No. Nope. <laughs> just eyes <laughs> only. For sure All they don't. I don't know this. why they wanted to go, wanted to be able to go, but. Yeah, Jesse That's hates sporting me. events, so you don't like. Uh, no, soccer? I don't mind sporting events, but I wouldn't fight to be able to go. That's for damn sure. You wouldn't punch. I think it's more face. about no. fighting to be able to go wherever you want, not necessarily a sporting event. But even then, I don't need to go every. I an excuse that I use is that I, that I would use is that I'm not allowed to go. Right. So it's it sucks to me that I'm allowed to go. Yes, because as a woman, no then excuse. she's like, "Oh fuck, I gotta I go." Yes, I can go. I can't use the old "not allowed in the stadium." Or you yeah. could just say no. 
Eh. Yeah, no, it doesn't work like that. It, doesn't, doesn't it does. Too. I do it all the time. Yeah, because and you're, you're single. Not a, <laughs> doesn't matter. You're no, not a woman. It, does. it doesn't matter. You don't it's know. It's harder that. for women to say no. It is, Dan. I know that part. <laughs> yeah, you were part of the, the don't ask, don't tell. You believed in it, so no, I believe in ask and tell, and let's let's experiment. <laughs> ask right? and tell and experiment. <laughs>